What's going on guys, Geosnow right here. So in today's video, following up a popular request, I'm going to show you how to remove the jailbreak on iOS 10.x on your device. Let's say you want to remove it to, I don't know, bring it to the Apple store for a repair, or you simply want to remove the things you've messed up, for example, tweaks, themes, your device is no longer working properly and you want to start over without restoring the device. And yeah, this is not going to involve any iTunes restore because that would be pointless. And I'm going to show you it's a fiddly procedure, but it's going to work perfectly if you follow the video correctly So I recommend not to skip for off the video and not to pause now I'm going to use the instructions presented very great in here by this guy on reddit uh, They're very very good Although a little bit big if you look into here and there are very very much of a chances to to mess up things if you're uh, following up the text version and you are not familiar with iOS. So this is why I'm making a video over it. But if you want, uh, and if you if you like more the text-based versions, you can go ahead in here. So thanks, lad, for the great text tutorial. Let's go straight into it, and I'm going to start by making a backup. Now, this is going to be very important if your device contains information you would like to preserve. For example, photos, music, contacts, whatever. Uh, because this is going to actually reset the device completely, but it's not going to restore it to any newer firmware. You're going to still be on the uh, firmware you are jailbroken to, but the jailbreak is going to be removed. So I'm going to connect the device first. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use my personal iPod Touch, sixth generation, jailbroken with Yalu Dark on iOS 10.0.2, but you can use literally anything on iOS 10. So um, as you can see, the iPod Touch got connected. I'm going to click backup now. Now, the reason we're making a backup, do not encrypt it, is because we want to keep the photos and so on. If you do not have important things that you want to preserve, for example, photos or anything related, you can skip this step only. But only this step, you will need to be very, very careful uh, throughout the video, because if you do something wrong, you can easily break your device and uh, make it to require a complete restore in iTunes, losing the ability to jailbreak in the future. So uh, yeah, another thing that I would like to point out is that if you want in the future to re-jailbreak your device after doing this procedure, you will be able to do so if you do not update. So I have made a backup and now we can, we can switch to the device and start uh, removing the jailbreak. I'm gonna be back. All right, so here is the device and all of the procedures that we're going to do are actually based on the device. So you do not need Windows or Mac or Linux or anything. You just need your iOS device. Right, so uh, I would recommend you to pay a lot of attention. Again, I'm stressing this out a lot of attention because you can easily break the device. Now, what you need to do is to make sure you're jailbroken. I, you, I'm using my um, fork of Yalu, Yalu Dark, so it says jailbroken and now, you need to go here in Cydia and add the following um, repo. According to the uh, original post made on Reddit, the uh, the stasher created by Coolstar is actually very good because it only moves the third parties uh, into a specific stashing folder and not the uh, system application. So you're going to be able to remove all the jailbreak related things, but it will left, uh, leave the um, the iOS system related files intact. So I'm going to go in here to sources, waited for uh, reloading, and click edit and add. And you're going to add the following repo, coolstar.org, let's try that again, slash public repo, repo, double check that, there we go, click add source, it's going to verify it and add whatever it's in here, but we're going to only need the stasher. Now, I know we're installing a stasher on iOS 10, but this one is actually very safe, but do not install stashers on iOS 10 for any other purpose other than this. We're going to go in here, especially avoid Yaka utilities on iOS 10, that's going to break your device. So I'm going to go to system in here, stashing for iOS 9.2 to 10.2, install, Confirm, and keep in mind that you're going to need to reboot the device after you install this stasher, because stashers usually work by modifying the uh, file system and putting everything related to the jailbreak into a specific partition and to a specific, to a specific folder to free up some of the space and to uh, organize somehow the things. So it's going to move anything related to your jailbreak, including Cydia, Filesa, and any other thing that you have installed, 
into a stashing folder, into the var. So I'm going to get into that, just follow, uh, follow with the, uh, the video and pay attention. All right, it says that it installed the stashing utility. I'm going to reboot the device, it is going to, to ask us to do so. In 3, 2, 1, return to Cydia. For some reason it didn't ask me to reboot, which is uh, somehow peculiar, actually. Anyways, I'm going to I'm going to install a small tweak. As you, it's no longer starting, it's going to be one of the things. But Falza is actually working. So uh, to fix this, I'm going to go and reinstall terminal. Terminal. To make sure that everything is uh, working, because after stashing, sometimes things go haywire. So it would be recommended for you to, uh, to try to install a small tweak or anything you want. Just install something to make sure that everything installs properly. Apparently there are no problems, so we can continue. It's very important to check if anything is working properly after you stash using uh, Coolstar ORG's stasher, because if it doesn't, you're going to mess up the device. Apparently everything seems to be working good. Let me go here to terminal and apparently it's working. So yes, the stashing was uh, done correctly. Now you need to go in Cydia and install Filesa. I already have Filesa installed, but you're going to need it. Now keep in mind the um, the original uh, author of the uh, post on Reddit said you should not use iFile. So use Filesa. It's available in Cydia. It's this one in here. I already installed it. Uh, do not use iFile. iFile is highly out of date and it's pretty much going to break your device by on repair. So do not use iFile at all, use Filesa. Okay, in Filesa you're going to go in here, make sure you are on the slash on the top, which is the root, and navigate till here. Click edit and you're going to remove the first file in here, installed.yalux. If you fail to remove this one, you're going to have very big problems when you're trying to jailbreak again in the future. So make sure you remove that first. And now we're going to uh, to go to the actual important things. We need to go here into the um, into the library. So let me try to do so. Okay, we need to go to var, which is a symbolic link. Sorry, do not check it. Go to var. Go to mobile. Uh, mobile is actually your folder, the folder of the user. You're going to click edit and check everything but the library folder. Do not remove the library folder. If you do so, you're going to put your device in a boot loop. So do not remove it. Click trash, click OK. Go into the library folder because we still need to remove some of the things in here. But there are a couple of files and folders that you should not remove. And I'm going to have a list right now on the screen with any folder that you should not remove. Only this folders. Anything else can go. So I'm going to select uh, anything in here, but I'm going to spare the carrier bundles. So if you see the carrier bundles or carrier bundle dot bundle or carrier default dot bundle or operator bundle or preferences folder, these folders should not be deleted. If you deleted, if you delete them, it's going to break your device and you're going to need a restore. So pay attention to what you remove. Anything else is actually preferences or um, settings of various applications. For example, the wallpaper you have on the screen, the Cydia settings, the keyboard inputs and Siri and so on. So you can remove anything. The accounts folder in here that I just checked is your iCloud account, your iTunes account, your email account, sign it into the device. It's not going to remove them completely, it's just going to remove them from the device temporarily. So uh, make sure you remove all of these, but pay attention to what you select. Do not remove files, actually, you need to keep files as well because you're going to have the trashes in there. So uh, let me try to do all this. Core Duet is actually containing the, um, uh, the info Apple is taking from the device to spy on you. And I'm not kidding with that. Uh, preferences folder should remain. Now, because this is an, an iPod Touch, I'm not going to have the carrier related files. But if you're on an iPhone, you're, you're going to have a lot of carrier things. Carrier bundles, carrier bundle.bundle, operator and so on. Do not remove those. Okay, so preferences is going to remain, files are, is going to remain. Um, let me try to scroll a little bit. Double check and triple check these things, because if, if you remove something that shouldn't be removed, it's going to doom your device. Uh, carrier bundles is going to remain and anything else I'm going to remove. Okay. Sorry, I actually uh, unchecked them for some reason, so I'm going to recheck them. Files are. 
sorry guys and carrier bundles like this okay you're going to remove them and you're going to only have a couple of folders left you shouldn't remove these and you should go back to the var now at this point you should have those files and you will go you're going to go to the uh, to the root of the um, of the device and you're going to remove the stashers but first you need to go back in here into the root go to the applications and remove the applications from your screen for example Cydia and any other third party app because if you don't do that after the device gets um, restarted you're going to still have them and you're not going to be able to remove them so mark Cydia uh, mark files uh, mark uh, mobile terminal if you wish yeah, but first you need to you need to go in here to the um, var and find stash. So we're going to find the stash folder, which should be in here. It's a symbolic link. Remove it. Here it goes. Go to db. Sorry, into db. Select again and search for the stash folder, which is this one. Remove it and then you click done. Go back in here to the applications and select the applications that are third party. Do not remove any system app, only remove the applications that you installed as a jailbreak part, being it Cydia, Filesa and so on. So I'm going to start looking for them, being it Cydia in here, uh, mobile terminal probably at some point, okay Filesa, mobile terminal, let me try to find it. Mm, M terminal. For some reason, I am not able to find it. Probably it got removed already or something. Oh no, here it is. Make sure you remove anything that is related to the jailbreak because you will not be able to remove them after that. They do not have that little X. Okay, remove that. And you should be good to go at this point. So you removed the stasher, you removed the uh, database of the uh, stasher, and the. Um, these files that are actually uh, part of the applications you have installed but uh, are no longer required. So um, now you should be good to go. You need to go to settings and remove everything. Now if you remove Cydia, you're going to see you still have them in here for the moment but I'm going to show you what happens after we uh, restore. So we're going to go to general, reset, and erase all contents and settings. And yes, I'm not crazy. This is not going to break your device if you did everything correctly as I've shown you. You're going to click erase all content and settings, erase the iPod, and it's going to reset it back to the, uh, the normal, but with no problems. Gonna be back. All right, so after a couple of progress bars, the device has been uh, resetted, and I'm going to continue with this uh, setup thing. I actually uh, went through a couple of the things in here. Turn on Siri later, do not send anything to Apple, I'm not going to be spied by them. Get started, and as you can see, it actually uh, removed anything from my iPod, took it back to anything to the original shape, but unfortunately, for some reason, I still have these things in here that I cannot remove for the moment. Uh, that's one of the caveats. But um, yeah, you can put them in a folder for the moment and uh, try to remove it later but anyways uh, these are not starting anymore and you can see that my Yalu and anything well, was actually removed so this is one of the good things about this um, procedure is that actually you get anything removed anything related to the jailbreak now I'm no longer jailbroken parts of the tweaks or themes that I had installed are no longer installed and you can see everything got resetted to the original values but if you have made any modifications to the system for example you changed important system files they will still remain changed so uh, that's going to be bad but the uh, tweaks, themes, and things that you, you have installed as part of the jailbreak, for example, Cydia repos, Cydia whatever, and so on, are going to get destroyed and so on. The device simply gets refreshed to the uh, factory settings and everything works smoothly, but you still need to find a way to remove these things. I usually put them in a folder because uh, you're going to be able to remove them if you jailbreak again, but for the moment, the, yeah, even though we removed them, they're still in here for some reason. So, uh, yeah, let me try to go ahead in here. 
and perform a uh, reset to the home layout. Yeah, unfortunately, they're still here. So anyways, this is the only caveat of this method. But till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Peace out.